Hey guys, and welcome back to the Callisto Protocol. When we last left off, we found a schematic for something called a skunk gun, and we were really starting to struggle with our inventory. Alright, well, let's go. Oh! Wait, what? Hey? Have we just gone? Still get to the shoe. Yeah, but it's on emergency power, so I'll need to stay here and run a manual override. Of course Don't you worry. will. I can get you over there. I'm activating the gondola right now. We'll carry you across. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, cool story, dude. Uh, do you have a printer, Doobie, here somewhere? Because I want to have a look at the skunk gun and just generally try and clear my inventory out. Those. Unless those reforge stations are just um, incredibly rare. Oh, got an achievement. Really? There isn't one here? So that safe room that for some reason I had in my head that we would be, you know, using as a bit of a hub for a while, going back there and um, arming up and whatnot. I didn't twig at the time. Didn't think about it. But when we were in the shoe thing, yeah, fuck off, mate. Um, there was no option to store any items either. All right. Well, I mean, God knows how long. Ah, there we go. I was going to say, they can't be that stingy with these. Right, so. Have a united day. Have you? Oh, skunk gun. Is that an E? Got be an E. Right. What's the skunk gun? Skunk works. Shotgun. A prototype pan, a one-handed shotgun, currently being tested in Black Iron, developed by the Low Armament Skunk Work Division. Oh, we can't afford it. Like. Oh, not even close. And sell that. So it cost 800 beans. Is it worth saving up? Now here's another problem we're going to run into. Fuck right off. Um, another problem we're going to have is... This is going to be another weapon. Oh, there's loads of weapons. Look. It's going to be another weapon that's using our inventory space. I, I'm guessing it's going to take different ammo. Option not available. Uh, we can actually sell ammo. No wait, Don't know if it's... It might be worth selling a stack of bullets, to be fair. We just don't have the inventory for them. And the gun isn't, at least so far, that important. Alright, I'm going to save up for the shotgun because... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's give the skunk gun a go. Sure, I suppose. Just save our money for now. Because we know in a few seconds we're going to fill our inventory back up again. Which is the problem. Um, ah, hey guys. Gee, and we just sold all our bullets. Well, that's fine. You know what? That's fine. If we shoot them in the head, I'm guessing. Wow, one round left. Come on, you fucker. There we go. Well, at least that's cleared out some of our inventory. Oh no, they can both attack you at once. Well, that's awful. So how does that work? How do you defend against the one that's attacking you from the side? Yeah, a bit busy, mate. Ooh. That's going to be a problem. Because... As I said before, when you get into combat in this game, it locks you into a one-on-one -on -one battle with the enemy. Um, but... So if I push left or right, it's only going to impact the enemy that I'm locked in combat with, not the one to the side of me. So, 
How does that work? We've had this problem before, I believe. Uh, where's the... Did we sell our bullets still? No, we didn't. Alright. You know what? We're going to keep the bullets because we know we, we can just fuck those lot off. Where's the thing? The printer. <coughs> printer was down here, I believe. Yeah. Um, I guess the only thing you can really do is funnel the enemies towards you. I guess. UGC printing for all your needs. Right. Want to sell? Actually, tempted to sell a health injector as well, but we're going to use up all those bullets anyway. So, I guess it's not super important. I'm guessing the the shotgun is going to be more useful because. I don't know. You don't seem to be too bound by range in this game. But we haven't actually like found any shotgun ammo. But is that a dead space sort of thing? It, are we not finding ammo because we don't have the gun for it? That could actually be what's going on here. Oh, hi. Right, let's... It, you can't kill you. We're going to do as much damage to as we can. Yeah, this... Cause, I mean, this gun ain't great. Oi, dude. Come on. Come on. Jesus. I thought you were never going to ask me. Right, I've noticed once they only have one limb as well. When they only have one limb left... They only uh, attack once. They don't chain attacks together. Which is nice to know. Alright. Yeah, these spitters are a little bit more intense. They didn't even give me anything. They didn't even give me nothing. What are you, mate? Ugh, credits. Ooh, 109. Alright. And see, this is what I mean, straight away, we're getting a medical injector. Alright, we'll take it, I suppose. We shall take your medical injector. Oh! I wonder if we could do anything with that. Oh, it's a grip battery pack. Alright, fine. Fine. So we have the shoe control area. Another medical injector thing? Really? Uh, I guess we'll take it. So... And another grip battery pack. Jesus. They expect you to struggle here, didn't they? Well, let's use that. Alright. So we'll have you. What else? Uh, grip in use. Be safe, be seen. So I'm guessing... Do we need to pull these out? Doesn't make sense. Does it? Does it make sense? So we can carry as many of these batteries as we want, which is curious. So. Ah. Hello. Another medical injector. You're literally, you're taking the piss now. Right, well that's power. Ah, I see. Oh, hello. Let me inspect your neck. <laughs> 
Trag song. Hello, Trag, or whatever your name is. Let me have a little look. Uh, during processing, Song assaulted and hospitalized two members of the Lazarus Cartel. Advise utilizing kinetic cell system for all shoe transfers to avoid future incidents with inmates of this size, temperament, and criminal background. All right. Let there be light. Well, we like having fights. <laughs> oh, that's good. Alright, come on, my dude. Oi. There we go. Any more? There's got to be more. There you are. Any more. I don't think these guys are dropping items, but... Come on. It's supposed to automatically use that grip thing. Or am I just misreading it? Pretty sure it did say something about automatically using the grip. Come on, you big fuck. Come on. What do you think of that, eh? You like that? You like that? Bitch. Yeah, alright. Calm down. Oh, you're... It's so slow to use everything as well. Like, you've got to go into your inventory. Scroll towards it. Excuse me, dude. I was healing. Why, why can I not use a grip battery? I was literally under the illusion that I could just use that at any point. Oh, there we go. Didn't even see him there. Come on. Let's get this done. Oh, we're done. All right. <laughs> you know what to expect now. I need to re-read through that tutorial because it definitely said those batteries are used automatically. Right, and it's not even going to give us five minutes respite to read the fucking tutorial again. All right, well, let's go. And again, there you go. This guy's tough. But we can handle a tough bastard. Or ten. Oh, hi. There's no audio cues for them being behind you. Which is a problem. You coming up? Yeah, it's really difficult to see them. Okay, you're just going to come through the floor. That's fine. You can just... <laughs> you can just come through the floor. Any more? Any more? Here we go. Oh. Come on, you fucker. There we go. Oh, good night. Come to Papa. Whoop. Whoop. There we are. Nice and smooth. Lovely.
anymore. Yep, there's always more. Don't know where he is. The audio design ain't great, is it? You really can't tell where they're coming from. Come on. What's the hold up in getting up here? Now we're out of power, okay. Got ya. Oh, he's gone back down. We're just gonna stay up here. This is my house. Come on. Yeah, look, you cannot hear them at all. It's bizarre. Generally, with survival horror, um, sound design of the enemies is a big piece of the puzzle. I mean, that's how uh, Resident Evil kind of worked in the early days. Because although you couldn't necessarily see around corners, you could hear when there was enemies. Every enemy type had a distinctive sound. Same with like Silent Hill. And especially Dead, Se Dead Space was very clever with its sound. Like, if there was an enemy coming at you, you knew the enemy was coming at you. And you knew where the enemy was coming from. This game, the enemies are... I don't know whether it's a bug uh, or something that needs to be patched. But the enemies are silent. Like, there could be an enemy behind me and you wouldn't know. Which is... Curious. Anyway. Yeah, the combat is definitely... It's interesting. I'm not 100% against the combat. It works. It's just a bit strange, like, when there's multiple enemies. Things definitely get dicey. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, things get um, a little bit dicey when there's multiple enemies because you're trying to use the duck, the duck and weave system, but it's... Oh. Can we not? We can't have those back. Alright. So... Right, okay. Hello. You know what? Just mash you. See, we've used all that ammo, but we're already, like, just finding more and just building that stockpile back up. Which, again, I'm not opposed to. Like, you wouldn't have thought ammo would be rare here. And that's another thing with survival horror like depending on where the game is set I mean we're in a prison and a lot of these enemies are prison guards so ammo wouldn't be rare we've got another printer majig which is working UJC printing have a united day um like why would at this point and things may change later why would you print health Maybe on harder difficulties, I suppose. And ammo. Printing ammo is fine, but where are you going to put it? <laughs> right, this might... This might be worth it down the line. Just getting our stun button to do more damage. But I really want that skunk gun. But then we're not really struggling. It's usually like, once you know how the encounter's going to go, it's not that difficult. Um, okay, so... This is the gear room. Oh, right, that's the gear room. Got ya. That's the room where everybody's dead. That's locked. That's locked. 
Okay, so I guess it is the big button upstairs. Sure. Oh, there's stuff back here. Uh, sellable items. Right, let's do an experiment. Can I drop that? And will it actually drop? Or does it disappear? Okay, so when you drop something, you actually do drop it. So you can pick it up. That's good to know. The choice is yours. Oh, that's interesting. The grip batteries are literally worth nothing. Temp oh, if we sold... Oh, dude. If we sold both of those, we've still got one left. We could get a new gun. Should we do it? Oh wait, because there's still one on the floor over here. Yeah, we, we... We surely... We surely don't need to. Please make a selection. Or, yeah, I mean two will be fine, surely. Unit online. Gimme, 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 gimme. Prototype. So how is that? Oh god. Oh no, that does do more damage. And the stability is about the same. Fuck it. Please operate responsibly. I see. So the trigger mechanism is standard. So the trigger mechanism is standard. Um it's the same pistol grip amongst uh, between all weapons. So we can upgrade the magazine, which we, yeah, we want to do that. Magnum rounds, damage upgrade. Swarming rounds. Fires homing ammo. What? What's the handguns like ultimate upgrade then? Boom bullets. Alt fire module that fires explosive rounds. Oh, I don't know. They they both kind of sound cool, man. Oh, quick swap weapons. Press 2 to bring up the quick weapon select menu. Use mouse wheel to select an available weapon. Press left mouse button to... Okay. Why do I? That's weird. Why? Oh, it only holds two shots. That's why the ammo display is the same between the two weapons. See? That doesn't make any sense. Like, why would... Oh, I do like that. It's kind of a cool idea. The way the weapons swap. I I don't like. I don't like this quick. What? Why can't they just have the weapons on one, two, three, four, etc. Uh, et or, like, what is that? Oh, that. Oh, three's to heal, isn't it? I remember. They could definitely just have you to push Q or E to cycle through the weapons. You, yeah, you don't need this bullshit. That's not great. But whatever. Okay, I did it. Let's open the cell. We'll keep our gun for now, our pistol. Right. Now you said, aha. This is going to be full of bullshit, isn't it? Oh boy. I mean, 
think there's one there at least. Oh, that's a spitter as well. We don't like spitters. <clears throat> Come on, spit boy. Let's try. Oh, that's so annoying. You gotta push. Why did they make swapping weapons so dumb? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's great. Let's have the game lag up and pause. That's not good. You know what? Just kill me. We, we will start again. We'll start that bit again. <laughs> that does not look good. Oh, what, what a way to die. You know, the death animations are really bloody good. In one hand, it makes me kind of wish that... I... Oh, really? In one hand, it makes me wish I'd paid out for the extra death animations, but I don't really care that much. Okay, that's not great. And now we've got to push two, cycle to the next weapon. That didn't work. Yeah, so sometimes when you... There's nothing quick... Why is it... Why is it not switching? It's still not switching. So two, to bring up the fucking weapon wheel, down on the mouse, and then click. Right, that doesn't seem to work very often. And also, when you pick people up with this gun, they seem to just drop sometimes. That's something that I've noticed a couple of times now. Come on, fuckface. Come to papa. Alright. So this guy's going to be a two-hitter. One. No, only one hit that time. Okay. One. Two. There we go. That's a two. Oh. Dude, don't fall down there. I need my stuff. Uh, we are injured. And this guy's yes, giving us some gel. Cool. Yeah, don't like that quick weapon switch at all. Now, is this going to be bad? Probably. See what I mean? It just stops. For some reason. Right, so you can actually shoot their legs off, which is good to know, I guess. <sighs> Alright. So, free the inmate. Hey, 50 bucks says it's that woman. Just saying. Where is... Hang on, we, we need to practice this, getting this down. And two. Switch. That is really not a quick switch, is it? I see what's happening. You have to... You have to wait for the whole animation to play out before it's ready to go. That's... A, that's not quick switching. Why would you call that quick switching? That's really bad. And I think without going into your inventory. Oh my god, look how. Oh, you can do it the other way. So you have slow switching or incredibly slow switching. They're your two options. I mean, it's a nice bit of animation, but... Oof. Wait, did... Th 
these ga these game developers they have made a game before, right? Now where am I going? I'm sure they've made a game before. All oh, right, she's got me in here, I guess. No. Where is she? I guarantee it. It's her. I put money on it. How do we? Oh. Right. Yeah, that that little pixel is where we've got to go to. Got you. I found it. Or maybe it's no one. Someone's already escaped. Elias, are you sure this is the right one? It's her. Get me out of here! What are you doing here? What the hell is going on? Did you know it was her? Is this who we're looking for? Yeah, it was. No, I just knew it was someone who could help us. Then what? Why would I help you? Well, look, I've been here forever. I've got all the information on this place, and I can get us to the hangar. All right, and you, you can call down a shuttle, and, and he can fly it out. Look, we can do this. We just got to stick together, all right? Uh, no. Thanks. I'll take my chances. Yeah, piss off. A word of advice, though. Don't trust him. He's not what he seems. She doesn't know anything about us, does she? <laughs> You knew everything about this place. Yeah, I thought I did too. So what now? Now you're trapped in there until the cell docks, which means I can get on the tram, but you can't. Of course. Figures. So it's okay. I need you to go to waste processing, all right? Contact me once you're there. Data transfer complete. Wait, what the hell is that? It's just a little something to help you out. Just trust in the plan, yeah? Okay, so the third character is that pirate woman who's played by that woman that's from the um, the boys. She's actually a really good actor, but uh, of course it's her. Why would it be anyone else? So here's the person that like got you locked up in jail and murdered your best friend. Oh, by the way. You're going to become buddies or something. Yeah, she'd be getting shivved. But maybe we're going to find something out that's going to completely redeem her or something. I don't know. <sighs> Yeah, that messy encounter we had getting to her as well. That was annoying the first time round because we had like a like second and a half stutter <laughs> that just completely broke that whole encounter. I mean, the stuttering is definitely almost fixed, but it's still not great. Anyway, we're going to leave it here. Hello. Maybe we're not. Come on, big boy. Trying to finish the video off here, dude. Take your medicine. That's it. Ah, he's only got one arm, which means he can only hit us once. Now can I finish the video? Please? Thank? Okay. So... Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.